What's this, some new kind of dance? Nope, it's America's newest sport, and it's called skateboarding. You say this is nothing new. You used to do it when you were a kid, and you probably did. No one knows exactly when the box came off, and they took to riding just the plain old two by four with the old roller skates. Eventually, this evolved into the modern skateboard. What makes this modern board so much better is the flexible wheel assembly and the special non-slip composition wheel. This feature allows you to make amazing turns Look at that wheel assembly flex. These steel wheel skateboards aren't so good for this kind of turn. Look what happens if you try one. These steel wheel skateboards are toys and aren't designed for the serious skateboarders. Famous surfboard manufacturer Hobie Alter designed the Hobie skateboard and organized a team to demonstrate. Here's Hobie and team manager Dave Rockland. Along with the members of the team, Torger Johnson, Danny Bear, John Fries, George Trafton, keep them away from a magnet, Steve Hilton, and his younger brother, Davey. Let's watch them demonstrate some of the basic maneuvers skateboarding. Here's Danny Bear with some beautiful sweeping turns. In slow motion, you can see a little more clearly how he does it. Some of them prefer to ride in tennis shoes. Others like to ride barefooted. John Freeze and some switch ends. Here's Davey Hilton with one of the most important moves skateboarding. It's called kick turning or walking the board. He uses this method to propel himself without ever putting his foot down. Davey can go along all day like this, never touch his foot to the ground. He can even go uphill. For the beginner though, you're forced to use the more conventional method of propelling yourself along the foot pump. You can use a right pump, uh, or if you happen to be weird, you can use the left pump. Torger Johnson with some beautiful 360s. You can also do 720s and 1080s. Then he has to unwind again back to zero. He recently had his toes replaced with ball bearings. Watch the body English here of Danny Bear. His body goes almost all the way around before the board even starts to move beneath him. There's a great similarity between the sport of skateboarding and the sport of surfing. In fact, surfers are the ones who pioneered the modern skateboards. They designed them so they'd have something to practice on when they weren't in the water. Many of the terms used in skateboarding came originally from surfing. Things like walking the board, spinners, head dips, switching stance, hanging five, hanging 10, hanging 11.
form is very similar. Here's a beautiful turn in surfing. And here's a beautiful turn in skateboarding. Surfing, we have something called walking the nose. Skateboarding, the same thing. Sometimes you have a hard time telling just which one you're riding. Steve Hilton with a head dip, and Steve Hilton with a head dip. Whenever they come up with a move, they have to think of a name for it. Here's Davy Hilton with what he calls a coffin. Almost anything that impresses the skateboarders, they adapt to their own sport. In motorcycling, there's something called a wheelie. And in skateboarding, the next thing you know, Davy Hilton has a wheelie. They're only limited by their balance and imagination. These things are classified as tricks, but they also have serious competitive events, skateboarding. Here, John Fries and Danny Bear are adjusting their skateboards for the slalom run. By adjusting this nut and bolt, you can stiffen or loosen the turning action of the skateboard. To them, these things are as complicated as a sports car. Here's a typical slalom course. You can lay them out any way you happen to desire. Make them easy or difficult, depending on your ability. The accent isn't on speed, but on how well you can maneuver in the shortest possible time. It's a lot of fun to watch the Hobie Super Surfer skateboard team practicing the slalom. An amazing display of grace and coordination. Watch how Danny's head stays directly over the cans, his skateboard and body going around them. This is very similar in form to the well-known ski slalom. All you need for a good day of slalom riding is a dead-end street and a friendly neighbor with a driveway. Skateboards are also used by girls and boys for transportation, recreation, and exercise. And you'd be surprised at the number of adults who have one stashed away in the closet. The Hobie team is never content with the usual move. They are always inventing something. They call this a hedge dip. Many things the team does isn't recommended for the average skateboarder. Teaches you how to be a cheater. A lot of these things aren't even recommended for the advanced skateboarder. In fact, most of these things are only recommended for maniacs. Davey turned that into a precipice pullout. Here he goes with a J-O-Y-J, -J, which stands for jump out of your jacket. This is called the stinky pew. Here goes George Drafton.
trying things like this skateboarding and trying things like this surfing often lead to something that is commonly known as a wipeout. There's also the wipeout skateboarding. Oh, George. Come on, George. George, no! The skateboard is here to stay. It will take its place in the toy box, along with a baseball bat and roller skates. Whatever might be said about skateboarding, it is America's newest sport.